Hi, thank you for checking out this video. In this video, we are going to discuss how to use slideshow repeaters in Wix Studio. Slideshow repeaters are mostly used for creating carousels for your hero sections where you can create slideshows uh, and also connect it with the CMS. Or if you want to use it with uh, the reviews, right? If you want to show reviews, carousels, that, then also you can use slideshow repeaters in Wix Studio. It's very easy to use. I'll show you in just few minutes, right? So let's dive into the video. Okay, so before we start, I want to show you this slideshow that I have created for the template that I'm working on at the moment for gym owners and fitness studios. They can use this template and you can they can use this for their hero sections or wherever they want to put this kind of style uh, slideshow in their uh, web pages. Right here, you can see the different kind of styles for the slideshow. I have two options here, but let's create our own here. Uh, first click on this plus icon to add an elements and then go to layout tools and inside that click on the slideshow repeaters and then click uh, uh, anywhere here to drag and drop onto your canvas. But there are so many options which you can use here. What I want to use is uh, this option. Let's use this option here. And let's customize it as per your requirements. So here I'll create my own requirements. I'll just remove that part. And uh, regarding the background, I don't want that background. I want a solid color background here. So how you can do that? Click on this slideshow repeater in the layers panel and then select your background color. Or let's say this color, right, for my background and click on the item again and just hide or let's say opacity right make it zero now you have your text here now this text make it center align because i think left line is not uh, doing well for me uh, and i will change the text to something like this and let's use something here like uh, not light but let's use a bold one now look at this now let's reduce the line height of it so now just look at this right so i'm just changing it uh, and uh, for these uh, arrows i want them here i don't want them uh, on the on the right uh, right hand side top side no i want them here so what i'll do i'll just select their stack and align them here and i will add some bottom margin for it let's say around 24 pixels or bottom margin so that uh, the gap is there uh, it's not aligned to any edges right so that's why i added that and here if you want to change these navigations right you can do that also uh, for that let's say here you have a navigation and if someone hovers on that particular arrow left or right i want to change its background color I want to change its background color to something like this right and add its opacity to 100 and the icon color to be anything like let's say white yeah so for that one I just did that and let's uh, preview this because you have to see uh, I have made these changes this will affect right but in some slides you will find some text which is added by Wix Studio, you can remove them, right? So let's preview our slide. Before we preview our slide, let me show you some basic settings here. Uh, for click on the slideshow, click on the settings. Now you will have a setting box open here which show, show navigation buttons. You say yes. If you don't, you can remove them. If the slider is like, uh, you don't need users to click anywhere, right? Cross fade or slide. So right now it slides, I means if I click somewhere, it will slide the current slide to the left and the next slide from right side to the uh, main slide, right? The direction is given here. You can have your own direction. So sometimes you may want a slide from bottom to top, right? Then use this one. And then uh, let's uh, transition duration. One second is fine. Auto play. Yes, I want my slides to play automatically and time on each time five seconds right after five seconds it will change it to that so let's let's make it three seconds because we want to test it out pose on hover yes infinite loop yes means it will continue uh, if you don't want it to be continue after one time you want it to stop 
you can do that too right so let's preview it and uh, look at it how uh, it does right let's just wait for the page to load properly okay now it will work just wait see look at this if i just hover because i have not changed here right remember i just changed this style so you have to change style for both icons you can select both icons and then you can make also changes there see look at this if i want that because these kind of uh, sliders you may need right as per your designers uh, requirement you can use this slideshow repeater to create your own sliders if you don't want to use pro gallery i i mostly prefer to use this one so yeah this is how you can do it and uh, for the responsive part you can make changes as as you want right now see it's uh, again here right but i don't want it there but uh you can make changes here uh, the font size on the responsive you can make it more smaller let's make it like 24 or 32 pixels and now let's click on our stack and again put it here in the center bottom part where i'm doing here is like 24 pixel again so now you have your slider it's responsive it works very well on all the devices hey so that was it for this video we have covered all the basics of creating slideshow repeaters in wix studio it's very easy you can try out yourself and share it with me so that i can give you my opinions if you need any help if you want to use ui kit that i have created for wix studio that that is based on tailwind css you can use it for your clients projects or your personal projects check out the link given in the description and get the ui kit for your website bye